hello 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 my love bugs once again it's your girl let me love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden not your heart for i am just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for your likes subscribe shares views and memberships everything is greatly appreciated my love so let's go ahead and get into another one and see what's going on i'm hearing that keith sweat <laughs> um ooh, forget about the dinner or the money and something else because the only thing appropriate for me be is you <laughs> don't just no, no. and then i know don't stop your love no no ooh, boom, boom, boom. don't stop your love ah 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 okay so what we got going on with this don't stop your love <laughs> who is this all right someone who wants to make the effort to come towards you in love okay this person loves how you're goofy you're playful you make them laugh they want to recapture this romance <laughs> all right this relationship is got to be some true love okay this person's just ready to make the effort now he feels like this love is is what he wants it's worth waiting for okay so it's a, a moment that you may have to wait in this relationship before you guys can be together exclusively is what i'm hearing but this person's most definitely wanting to make the effort he just needs to make a little bit more money maybe some financial issues or it could be possible that he's making extra money because he wants to help and heal is what i heard your financial issues so stay optimistic this person is working on bringing you a very very a good gift whatever this gift is going to be this person is working on bringing you a gift okay positive thinking and faith will bring you this romance so you got to keep your heart open this person may be apart from you now but they're only apart because they're trying to get everything in order for you okay they want to take you on a honeymoon so you guys can love each other out loud y'all can be on each other he can be in his authentic energy maybe he feels like he needs to be a little more overprotective like wherever y'all are now he has to be a little more overprotective of his feelings about you but he wants to take you somewhere all right this person thinks that you deserve love this person knows that they deserve love too and that's why they want to come towards you because they feel like you're lovable all right this person thought a while back that you could be the one and this person has probably been working to put some money aside so that they can show you that you are the one that don't sound too good to you you feel like listen i don't judge nobody if you don't have everything you need to have right now as long as we know we want to be together we can work it out together let's just you know do this together but this person rather have this done ahead of time you're not used to that maybe you're used to codependent masculines or masculines that you know always have to they need help in some sort of way this masculine don't need no help he want to show you that he's not the one that needs the help he's the one that's helping you okay he really wants you or you're going to have no choice but to let go of these control issues even though you feel like this is the time for y'all to match up and get together this masculine has his own plan okay so you have to allow yourself to let go of those control issues and let the holy spirit take control of this entire situation maybe that's something that you have a generational curse that you had to break is that you like to have control over things okay this person really has strong romantic feelings for you there's no denying that this person is getting ready to try to he, he wants to get engaged to you all right, he knows that he wants to put a ring on your finger, provide you with stability so that you don't have to worry about anything. You can just focus on being his lovely wife. Like that's, I'm hearing, you know, that could be unknown to you because you're used to, you know, problems maybe in relationships or people having problems <clears throat> in their marriages and stuff around you. It's a generational curse. Maybe people couldn't stay in relationships. Karmics would always get in the way, but that's not going to happen in this one. This masculine is solely only focused on you and making your life a better putting you in a better place all right uh you have ancestors that have set this up for you because you took the time to learn and forgive and and love and keep your heart open throughout most of your lifetime and things and issues maybe family issues that you've been going through you've been healing through these issues so you're being granted a husband someone who really shows this chemistry not just somebody who wants to do this because of status or wants to do this just to keep control of you this is a person that you actually have chemistry with and it's some very very strong chemistry all right this person and you have both released these karmic energy so this engagement like i say is being put together um i'm hearing the stars are a 
aligning very, very soon. You guys are going to be able to get started with this new love, even though you're separated right now. You're going to have time very soon. Go on this honeymoon, get engaged, and get to know each other. The attraction for you guys are too strong. I know a lot of y'all is like, well, maybe I'm going to go on a date first, and maybe he's going to engage. No, the only reason he's taking you on this date is because he wants to get engaged to you. He already know what he want to do. This is not, a, oh, we just going to go on a trip, and then, you know, when we come home, we'll be together for a while. No, no, no. He most definitely has saved enough money to get y'all some busting ass wedding rings so y'all can have a busting ass little small ceremony so he can take you on some shopping spree because you his wife and y'all gonna be buying furniture for y'all house and shit. Like, trust, baby. This is about... This, what? Trust. This is true love. Don't think this man out here just trying to get a bag so he can take you on this trip and buy you a couple of trinkets and then y'all will get married later. Fuck no. Y'all might even get married on this honeymoon. This man knows that you're his soulmate. Both of you guys healing from your exes have called each other's in damn calling in soulmate soulmate back and forth trust and true love back and forth new love come on now both of y'all freed yourself from these karmic energies so y'all gonna be allowed to love each other and be blessed yes the holy spirit says so religious factors have something to do with this okay your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so both of y'all already know the holy spirits have already told y'all y'all belong to each other yes and this reconciliation is gonna go down and like i just said y'all gonna get married Get this man some time to, to, to get this rendezvous together, baby. Yes, you feel like y'all gonna be together. But let me tell you something. I'm seeing from these cards right here, with this love yourself first and passion and it's safe to love, you already know it's safe to love this man because y'all be getting down with the get down, baby girl. So don't so don't rush this relationship. Holy Spirit say at least you at that point, you can still be out here being celibate. <laughs> Holy Spirit is saying that you can still be out here celibate, okay? You could be living alone, but he's allowing you to get down with the get down. So be appreciative, all right? There's no doubt in this masculine's mind. There should be no doubt in your mind, all right? Y'all relationship, when y'all get around each other, y'all connect. So, like, y'all just connect. It's so weird that y'all connect. And both of y'all feel weird about being apart from each other. But come on, baby girl. Come on. You know this man adores you. You know this man will do anything for you, all right? And both of y'all. No doubt in y'all mind that the sex that y'all have is beyond words. That passion that y'all have is not passion. It's just some lust, okay? That's that's something extra. Y'all be desiring for each other even after y'all have each other, okay? This is not just lust. This is some, this is something else. Yes, this is the ideal romance because y'all hit each other's points every time. Sheesh, he most definitely be hitting that back wall, child. <laughs> you be feeling what he be putting down let me just say that much but he also be feeling what what you got going on too okay both of y'all no longer messing with people in the past all right this man's gonna want to come take his time what you want to come whisper in your ear all right he also feel like you just a beautiful you just the most beautiful thing ever like he just want to watch you live your life this masculine dreams about things that you guys will be experiencing together in love and he just wants to sit back and watch you like, he's amazed by you. Like, he just want to sit back and watch you, I don't know, do your hair, fix some food, take a bath, walk past him, just be sitting down watching TV, sleeping. Like, he just wants to experience everything about you. And uh, he might be waking you up a couple times throughout the night when y'all first get there. Y'all like, y'all gonna be, y'all gonna, damn, y'all gonna be doing a lot of doing it. Shoo, sweet surrender. And you ain't gonna have no problem with it. <laughs> y'all gonna be doing a lot, okay? Ooh, because this man finna show you he really love you. Oh, man, he gonna be trying to make you moan repeatedly. Maybe that's how he gonna show you he love you, by trying to make you moan repeatedly. <laughs> Let's see, anything else? This is cute. Quick little love reading for the evening. Anything else? Oh, okay. Whew. This man's gonna say he wanna lay in it, okay? Can you handle that? Oh, he gonna find out if you can. It's that Usher. Can you handle it? I'm thinking about the song. Um, I like that you can take it. I'm. <laughs> it's a song, y'all. He said he want to switch positions. He want to lay in it. He like that you able to take it. He can try stuff with you. All right. He likes that he can learn your body. He can try stuff with you that he ain't never been able to try with nobody before. I don't know. Maybe you flexible or something, home huh, girl. He want to bend your ass up like a pretzel. You like it. You don't complain. Oh. Okay, he said, whether you know it or not, a lot of these women who go get these surgeries and all this shit can't bend certain ways, can't do certain things. 
He said, you can, child. He like you keep them nails and toes done, okay? That, that is something about hygiene, okay? That's what he say. He want to see you put on a dress when y'all take this trip. Okay, girl. Um, He said uh, he going to make you his. He got his eye on you. Y'all going to go on a nice little fancy date. Y'all going to be getting nasty during the date. I'm hearing something about one of them vibrating things in your drawers. So this man going to be playing with you, child. He said he love to see you happy. So he's really wanting to take you on this date, really wanting to show you. So I'm telling you this fancy date, girl, go get a cute dress. Okay, this person said he looks up to you. You make him want to be a better person. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> he loves the macaroni noises. He looks up to you while y'all make macaroni noises. He, he might want you to saddle up, honey. <laughs> he might want you to get on up there. His love language is showing you. He sticks up for you. He want to see you in some lingerie, too. He wants some fellatio. He going to make you moan. He like to hear you moan. He tired of the quickies. He need more. You saying the same thing. You said that. That thing surprised you, okay? You, 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 you was like, I ain't know it was like that now, okay? So however he be putting it down, like I say, he be putting it down, child. You don't want to go nowhere. That's why you're trying to hurry up and be like, no, we go together. So you can get some of that stuff every day, but give him time. Give him time. I know we get tired of hearing that shit. Give him time, though. All right? Just because your love language is vocal, maybe you want him to say something. He said he ain't... <laughs> Only thing he wants you to do is get loud. He gonna give you this gift. He wants you to be happy. Jump up and down, and then he... Want to make you happy and make you go up and down. He wants you to get up there. He really wants you to take a ride on him, child. Okay, he said he days dreams about your life together. He's secretly obsessed with you. He got a thing for your booty. Your head is the best. He want to even do it in public, maybe in a car. He said he liked the way you submit to him. Okay, you might like how he look naked, child. Anyway, it's some true love, okay? The last one say he want to pull your hair. All right, you be wanting him to call you and text you and all that stuff. Give him a minute, honey. This man out here making running for some so some badass wedding rings, okay? It's something about the way you walk. And it's something about these wedding rings. Like, he's really trying to pick out the perfect ones. He really want to make you happy. And I think that he's been paying so much attention to you on low-key that he knows exactly what you like. He's just going to surprise you. This is going to be great. This is some real good energy. Like, he is going to surprise you, honey, bee. All right, y'all, this is it. This is all my loves. Quick little love reading for the evening. I'm going to go ahead and close it out because it's getting late. Um, And we'll just catch up on some more readings for tomorrow. Like I said, I got a late start tonight. And um, I had to do my story time read, and it was a little long. It was pretty good, though, but it was a little long. So I'm talking about it was pretty good. Like, I wasn't the one telling the story that I already know. It was some spooky shit, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, this is it. This is all my loves. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, get things uploaded for you guys, and we'll get into some more detail about, you know, various things tomorrow, okay?